Calvary, I want to leave you with this thought. It's time to go to church. It's time to find out that as a word. You ain't gonna find nothing in the world. It's time to go to church. Stop running. It's time to go to church. Let the church sing. It's time to go to church. In 1 Samuel 16 and 12, we find David is destined to be great. And perhaps there are some here today who are in the middle of a situation that looks like it is bigger than you. You have been frustrated. You have been fearful. You have been uh, upset. You have been disappointed. You have been dismayed. But even in the midst of all of that, you have continued to be faithful. Your life has become simply a mundane repetition of one day after another of doing the same things and getting the same results. Your past is dark and your future looks dim. But every day you wake up and you make up in your mind, I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to, 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 to today, I, I'm, I'm going to give it my best shot. Today, I'm going to do the best that I can do because I just believe that somewhere there's a breakthrough for me. I just believe that 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 somewhere things are going to change going to turn around for me. I I just believe that that somewhere there's a path forward for me. I just believe that there is a brighter side for me. So Lord, thank you for this day. And I vow today to attempt to make this day the best day of my life. You can understand the, the plight of David, the youngest son of Jesse. The Bible says that while he was in the field working, tending to his sheep and his goats, his brothers are being paraded in front of Samuel, who is looking to anoint the next king of Israel. While David is doing his job, his brothers are being put on display for, the, for, for a promotion in the kingdom. But David keeps doing his job. <laughs> David is doing his job and his brothers are being cascaded in front of Samuel as a looking for a promotion in the kingdom. But David was doing his job. I want to drop a pen right there and let you know that there is honor in doing your job. There is credibility in doing your job. There is, there is promotion power in doing your job. God is in the habit of blessing people who are satisfied with doing their job. God is in the habit of lifting people who are satisfied with doing their jobs. God is in the habit of, of blessing people who are faithful in doing their job. God is in the habit of picking people up who are faithful in doing their job that other folk don't even recognize. Oh, let me encourage somebody in here who think nobody appreciates you for the job that you are doing. God does. Let me encourage somebody who think nobody recognizes the job that you are doing. God does. Let me encourage somebody who never hears anybody say thank you for the great job that they are doing. God sees you, and as long as you keep doing the job that you are doing for him, I am a witness that God will elevate you. I am a witness that God will lift you. I am a witness that God will promote you. Give somebody a high five and tell them, just do your job. Because if you just do your job, God will bring you out. If you just do your job, God will turn it around. If you just do your job, don't give up. Don't give in. Don't get frustrated. Keep doing it to the best of your ability. God has a way of turning things around. Jesse cascades all of his boys in front of Samuel. Samuel says, no. 
None of these boys passed the test. Do you have another son? Because I know the king is supposed to come from your house. But none of these boys fit the description. Jesse says, I've got another son out there in the field tending to his sheep and his goat. Samuel says, go get him and we will not sit down until he comes. When David shows up, Samuel says, that's the one. Anoint him as king. There was, there was conditions inside of David that made him royalty. I'm going to say that again. There was conditions inside of David that made him royalty. There was something special about his heart that was pure and perfect. And although he was working in the field, he was still fit to be king. You see, God was not looking at his position. God was looking at his condition. And I want to tell somebody in here that there is royalty inside of you. It may not look like it. It may not feel like it. It may not seem like it. But God sees something inside of you that you cannot see inside yourself. He sees your condition. And when your condition is right, God can change your, posi your position. I have a feeling that there are some people listening to my voice that God is getting ready to change your position because he knows your condition. He sees your faithfulness. He recognizes your heart. He sees your dedication. He knows your potential. And he's saying that you are destined to be great. Everything that you have gone through has prepared you for greatness. Every tear that you have cried has prepared you for greatness. Every frustration that you have endured has prepared you for greatness. Every mountain that you have climbed has prepared you for greatness. Every valley that you made it through has prepared you for greatness. Every battle that you've had to fight has prepared you for greatness. Every time you were torn down, it was preparing you for greatness. Every time he picked you up, every time he turned you around, every time he cleaned you up and cleaned you out has prepared you for greatness. Give somebody a hot five and tell them I'm prepared for greatness. No devil in hell can stop me because I'm prepared for greatness. Nobody can block me because I'm prepared for greatness. Nothing can stand in my way because I'm prepared for greatness. And if you know that there's something great in you, if you know God is getting ready to change your position because he knows your condition. If you know that you are a king, that there's a king in you. If you know there's a queen in you. If you know there's greatness in you. Put your hands together. Lift holy hands. Give God some praise. Come on in this house, Calvary, and let have some praise.